Yo, what's up, my stalkers? Oh shit, this is the wrong game. Sorry. Yo. <laughs> Larry, laser suit Larry reloaded. Um, I know of one way to to get free, um, but I remember there were be there was another way as well to, to get free from here. Um, we can still grab the our suitcase, and we have a knife we can use on this. Um, but there should be another way as well. Um, let's have a look. You've been firmly secured to the bed with bungee cords. <laughs> Who has bungee cords with them? The way Fawn has you tied down, you can't undo the cords. Hmm. The way Fawn has you tied down. Okay. You can't convince them to let you go. <laughs> um, can I grab this? I remember you have to grab something. You can obviously thought. feel the bed, but you can't get a good enough grip on it for any sort of leverage. Okay. The way Fawn has you tied. No. The way Fawn. No. The way Fawn. I knew there was another way, but uh. You can obviously. Well, I think it is possible to get here without having the knife, but um, I just don't know which one it is. Maybe we can eat it or something? We eat the rope? They smell like deception and betrayal. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. Wetting yourself is one of your instincts in this situation, <laughs> but it will only make you uncomfortable. Okay. Um... I have no idea what the other way is. You can't reach that. You're tied up at the moment. <laughs> um. Okay, I'll just use the knife. I'll I'll, I'll have to look it up because I have no idea what the other way is. Um. I thought you could like chew through them, but it's, apparently it's not possible. So let's just use the knife. Very clever, Larry. <laughs> You managed to work your clever. knife out of your pants and use it to slice the bungees until... Well done, Larry. You're free. You quickly dress. Now you're <laughs> feeling ready to go back out and conquer the world. Again. The cheap knife Again. broke in the process, so you dispose of it as any responsible gamer would do. <laughs> okay, now these bungee cords... You dispose of the cord you cut through and save the other three for some sort of demented shenanigans. <laughs> Demented shenanigans. Okay, there are three sort of ropes, and let's have a look. It's a short bungee cord. If you recall, it was restraining one of your arms just a short while ago. It's the same, also short, and this is a long one. Shortest honeymoon. <laughs> um, now I know you have to tie one of these together. I think it was a short one and the long one, but I'm not entirely sure which one it is, but let's see. You can you can attach them all together if you want, but it's that's not gonna work. Making a quite long bungee, okay. Let me kind of get a new One sip. glass is enough, Larry. You want to be able to function, don't you? <laughs> like I'm ever gonna get any. Okay, let's get out of this room. Um, let's see, what do we have? I still need to to get something out of this. There should be something in here. Looking for anything useful. Now I find the key. I knew there was something in here. You put the key in, the, in your pocket, finding nothing else in the... Oh... Coveralls, you toss them away. Not the NPCs worrying about them, right? <laughs> okay. Well, got a nice little surprise for you guys. Uh, this door, this is private. Uh, wait, can I have, actually have a look at this? CP stamped into the side. Hmm. Try bending the key, but since there's only one of your hands is strong enough. And well, the you can't do it. 
Okay, let's use this key on this lock. The key door. fits in the lock. You turn the bolt and the door easily opens. See how that works there. And the door doesn't remain open. You have to actually use you it. You walk through a maze of time. twisty little passages, all alike, until finally you walk through an Cheers archway and into... Holy guacamole! With the humidity at about 150%. Not sure if you can see here, down here. Your immediately wilts, sadly. A feeling yeah. not wholly unfamiliar to you. Oh, contraire, Pierre. The humidity will make my suit cling to my body and show off my physique. Yeah. Okay. Um. I first didn't even notice this, but there's like a big ass. Mr. Wiggles, it? the casino's the whale, whale, is frolicking merrily in the huge aquarium. Pick you it can't up. reach Mr. Wiggles while he's swimming. <laughs> Mr. Wiggles. Yoo-hoo! Mr. Wiggles! <laughs> Mr. Wiggles appears not to even notice you. The truth is, he's ignoring you. Whales <laughs> are highly intelligent and sensitive. Oh yeah, they're highly intelligent and sensitive. Especially the sensitive part. But How much whale did you want to taste? <laughs> Just a little, I swear. Like... Less than half a sandwich. Then nothing doing. <laughs> We're not cutting up our whale just for half a sandwich. <laughs> Aww. Larry, how could you even think of doing something like that? <laughs> After all, this is a male whale. Oh. <laughs> Great. Let's have a look at this. An incredibly beauty. sexy woman, the hotel's mermaid, stands by the edge of the pool. Let's grab her. What? Stroke that girl's glistening, wet, firm, tanned body? But you don't even know her. So what? Uh, okay, let's first have a talk with her then. She stands before you, totally unself-conscious of her near nakedness. That's encouraging. <laughs> yes. Hmm. <sighs> Um, look at her. Okay, it's settled. You would die for her. <laughs> I have one of these goggles, actually. You could gaze at that snorkel forever. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, how about these? You glance at her breasts, then look away. It's not like you don't find them attractive. It's just that you're afraid of boasting a blood vessel. <laughs> You don't need any flotation devices right now, <laughs> but it's good to know they're in easy reach. Did I say you could touch my equipment? Ooh. Excuse me, let me just brush that stray hair out of your face. Thank you. You pretend to carefully move a thin, Score. wet tendril of raven hair out of her face, brushing her cheek with the base of your thumb. She closes her eyes and it sends a shiver down your manly spine. <laughs> Um, her face smell smells her. warm, soft, and kissable. To her credit, none of those are usually thought of as smells. <laughs> they smell like one quarter moisturizing cream. What's the other quarter? They smell. Ah, no, it's just okay. <laughs> you probably don't want to try this out in the first girl you meet, but. Let's try it anyway. You'd need to find out, in a more intimate moment, if she's even into that sort of thing. <laughs> Remember all the trouble you got into at that Martha Stewart book signing? <laughs> and this? Slow down, buckaroo. If the fates decree it, it'll happen. Okay, let's just, let's just talk to her then. Who are you? What are you doing here? And how did you get in? This is a restricted area. Me? I'm Larry. <laughs> that never stopped Larry me. Larry Laffer, I found a key that fits this door. That's kind of what I do. Wow. Points for boldness then, Mr. Laffer. Call me Larry. Okay, Larry. I'm Jasmine. Score! I'll pretend I have no idea who she is. So what do you do here? I work here. I ride Mr. Wiggles bareback. Mr. Wiggles is a very, <laughs> very lucky man. Mr. Wiggles is my whale. Don't act like you didn't know that. <laughs> I'm just trying to be charming. Maybe it's working. Ooh. Um, they like it when you comment on their chests. Well. Jasmine, how do you hold your breath so long? 
I can't swim across a kiddie pool underwater. <laughs> you must have great lungs. Yeah, I guess I'm just well endowed. You can say that again. Come again? Yes. What? How'd you know? <laughs> huh? Let's start over. <laughs> Come again? Yes. What? Hey, you guys. Thank you for watching, Stalkers. Remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye. If I look a little depressed tonight, it's my mom. She's 120 or something, and I swear she does not stop farting. Every five minutes, she rips a new one, real peppery ones, eye burners, you know? So she goes to the doctor and says, Doc, she says, she says, Doc, I got this problem. I fart constantly. Horrible stinkers. Absolutely silent, but absolutely deadly, you know? She says, in fact, I just let loose a horrible one, but you won't know it till it drifts over to you. So the doctor says, well, we're going to start running some tests. She says, on my gastrointestinal tract? And he says, no, on your hearing. Thank you.